I just spent $5,000 on this mystery collection of sneakers right here. I don't know what's inside these boxes, but I'm excited to crack them open. I've done this a couple times on my channel if you guys didn't know already, and I'm excited to do this again because low key, this stuff is kind of fun. So with all that being said, let's get these sneakers down to the studio and start unboxing all the kicks and see if we got our money's worth or not. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. If you haven't seen the previous episodes of me doing this before, basically I'm gonna run through all of the sneakers over here, show you guys what I got, because it's just a mystery I just gave him cash and he gives me random shoes and then I pick through the sneakers of the stuff that I want to keep and then everything that I don't want to keep I put it on the website for you guys to have an opportunity to get it as well and typically he throws in different samples and a bunch of random sneakers in there so hopefully it's worth the five thousand dollars hopefully I can find some things I want and hopefully there's some things for you guys so if you haven't already check out the website shopdnashow.com I'll have that link for you guys down below in the description as well and every time I do videos like this I always put the extra shoes on the website so you guys have opportunities to get them for good deals as well so with all that being said let's go ahead and crack open this first box because we got a lot to get through all right starting with the first one right here we have a Nike sock dart se and I already know what the sock darts are okay this right here is like an Oreo colorway we got the all black upper with the Oreo midsole this is a size 12 now if these were a 13 I would definitely be keeping these all right next up right here we have a Kyrie 5 Ooh. Ooh, I think I know what this is because I got the last one before it is. Let's go. We have the sneaker room Kyrie 5 right here. I got these from him last time and apparently he has the other colorway as well. All right, next up we have a size 13 Hirachi. Now I'm not too big of a Hirachi guy, but I do respect it. Oh, this is a clean shoe right here. We got the, what is this, like a Stingray material? Looks like a Stingray Hirachi size 13. Now. I'm not too big of a fan, but I do respect it. So this is going to be something I'm probably going to put on the chopping block. But these honestly are pretty nice. I don't know. I might have to keep these ones low key. I'm going to debate about this one, actually. I'll think about this. I'll let you know later. All right, right here we have a Nike React Presto. Ah, these are drunk. What the hell? Okay, so the React Presto. I like the Reacts, I like the Prestos, but the whole thing together was kind of weird to me. I feel like they should have just kept them, you know, as is. But this is, uh, are these worn? Uh, they look like, these look like they're brand new. Everything looks good on here, I don't know. Looks like a brand new pair of React Prestos. So if anybody wants these, you can have them because definitely not really my cup of tea. Nike LeBron 9 BHM size 12 and a half. Oh, this is a good one. I, I, man, I used to have these back in the day. This would be a good one to get back. I don't know why. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so I take that back. This is not a LeBron. What is this? <sighs> All right, well, I'm gonna have to do some research on this one. It's very interesting to say the least. What though? Is this like a mixture of different shoes? I don't know. I don't even feel. I'm low key. I'm low key sad. I thought it was the BHM LeBrons. This is not what I wanted. Yeah, whoever wants these can have these. That's, come on, man. I thought that was it. Following that letdown, what do we have right here? LDV Vintage Size 13. Definitely not my cup of tea either. A little old school vibe, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be seeing people rocking shoes like this, but me personally? Yeah, I'm a pass on those too. All right, here we go. Now we talking Nike SB. We got a black with the purple box. This is an older era right here. So there's gotta be something good inside of here. Nike Zoom Air. What the, what is this? Oh my gosh. Bro, what? Is this even an SB? It says SB in the insole. Nike, this is, look. they look like some Vans with some elephant print. This is very interesting. What is this even called? These things are dirty. Nike Air Verona Premium. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> $10, $10, who wants some $10? Bro, we're off to a rough start today. This is crazy. Normally, I mean, I know every time in the batches, there's like some good and bads, but like, where's the goods at? Nike Trainer One Premium. <laughs> Right when I say that, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> so these, these are some goods right here. The oh my gosh, they got damn, it's it's cracking a little bit on the 3M. But this is the 112 Trainer One right here. 
This is a very good one right here. I don't know about you guys. I like Trainer Ones. This this is like a grill right here when it comes to Trader Ones. Definitely, definitely keeping these. I'm gonna have to check them out. I know the 3M is like cracking a little bit where the creases are at, but either way, these things are fire. See, right when I had some doubt, I thought we was gonna be on a bad streak, but we're looking good, we're looking good. I like this, I like this. Next up, we have a Nike ID box. Let's see what is inside. This is, what is this? Nike ID. Is this the uh, KD? It's like missing the laces though. I don't know what the hell. It says Nike ID on the tag, size 12 and a half. It looks like he cut the lace things off. Like a, just like a, like a slipper type vibe to it. Next up is one that I already know what it is because I see the packaging. Hopefully I don't get too deceived, but you got the penny pack right here. And let me see if I can open this. There we go. So. Got the pennies right here. The foam posits, looking good. I remember when this pack first came out. I used to have this pack back in the day and then uh, I ended up getting rid of it. And I feel like it just never hit. Like it just was never like dope. Like it wasn't, I don't know, like foam posits was hitting during that time, but this package just, it didn't get the job done. I don't know, that's why I ended up getting rid of it. Let me know what you guys think about this pack down below in the comment section. All right, on to the next one. We got a Moab OG. Ah, classic. <laughs> this is a good one right here. This is a nice one right here. If anybody wants these, I'm gonna put these on the site. This is definitely gonna be a really good pickup for somebody. All right, next up, XL Air Presto TP. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got that Tech Pack Presto all black in a size XL. Hey, if these fit good, just know, sorry guys, I'm keeping these for sure. All right, we got an Air Trainer 2 Premium Quick Strike, size 13. Ooh, these actually are kind of clean. I don't know if I would ever wear these, but these are nice. The materials on these are fire. And it's got the promo sample in there. Okay. All right, next up, we got an Air Hirachi, size 13. Y'all know I'm not the, ooh, this is kind of, I, I was about to say, I'm not really the Hirachi guy, but this is a solid colorway. Give me that solar Yeezy vibe. I ain't mad at this one. This is, what does it say, size 13, right? I'm not keeping these, but this is definitely a solid colorway. All right, right here, we got an Air Presto Mid Acronym. Now we talking, now we talking my language. The only problem is, this is a size large. And I can definitely not fit a size large. That's crazy, bro. I need this colorway. Why is it never in my size on the stuff that I want? All right, right here, we got a Nike Roshi Run throwing it back. That is not a Nike Roshi Run. Okay. We got the sample tags on there right there. Suede posit, look at the sample. Sample not for resale, stamped on the inside. Cool little drop, what size is these? Not the, I used to have these back in the day. I used to wear these. Ended up getting rid of them years ago. Size 12. Ah! I definitely can't fit in fall closets in the size 12. Right here, we got an Air Force One High Retro. Size 12. What's going on? And it's a good shoe. This is crazy, bro. Oh, we got the high top purple joints. This thing is a classic right here. I know these definitely go crazy on the East Coast, especially. I know I can't make it work. I got other forces inside, so it just don't work. I'm like low key, like a 13, 13 and a half. So for me to try to make a size 12 squeeze, it, I can tell you, it's just not gonna work. It's, it's rare that I can do it, but it has to be like a really soft sneaker, open mesh on the upper type thing. Nike Air Trainer 1 SB, size 13. Okay, what we got? Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. The Gold Digger Trainers. Now, I used to have these back in the day and I uh, got rid of them. And now, <laughs> I'm keeping these, I'm getting these back in the collection. I don't know about, like I said, I like Trainer Ones. I don't know about you guys, but I do like Trainer Ones. I probably got about like, maybe five or seven pairs of Trainer Ones in my collection. So to bring these back into the collection, Size 13, right? let me check the button, let me see. Yep, we good, size 13. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm keeping these. All right, next up we got a Nike black and purple SB box. Old school vibes kicking it. Now we had a major letdown earlier with the purple SB box. So <laughs> hopefully they don't do it to us again. 
Nike Dunk High, Premium SB, Black Bo oh. Bro, this cannot be. This is the pair. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay, so. Oh, what do I even say? Okay. Long story short, I have to make a video about this shoe. Sorry, you guys, I haven't shown you what it is inside yet. This is the MF Doom Nike SB Dunk High. This. This right here is a sneaker that I used to have. And the crazy thing is, I got this pair from my boy that, that, that I got these from. I got this pair from him. And then I had them for years. He wanted them back. I traded him back to him probably about like maybe five or seven years ago. And then... He just gave them back to me. This is crazy. Bro, it's been so long. We were just talking about this the other day. He was reading my mind. Oh my gosh. I never thought he was gonna let go of these. And this is like my only chance of getting a clean pair from somebody and because I knew, oh, this is crazy, bro. I don't even know what these things are worth right now. Let me see. So right now, these are hitting for around $2,000. That's crazy. I remember when these was like 400 bucks back in the day. And that was a lot. <laughs> bro, thank you. Thank you, bro. This is crazy. I feel like we could just stop the video now. I know we got like five more stacks. Three, one, two, three, four. We got five more stacks over here to go through. Oh, bro. Damn, I got. I feel like I gotta leave these out the box on display. Like let them just sit right here. So you know what I'm saying? Just boom type thing. Like that's crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a full review for you guys, telling you guys a story about these. Uh, I gave you guys a short version, but yeah, good times. Definitely keeping these. Thank you, bro. Oh, bro. Yes, that's crazy. All right. Um. All right. Let's get back situated. I don't even know what to to do right now this is crazy <laughs> nike free fly knit chucka size 12 what we got this is a free yep this is his shoe these honestly low-key i get bro i bet you these are very comfortable to say the least um this is probably gonna be a good pickup for somebody if these were a size 13 i would low-key snag these and keep these because you need some good everyday shoes you know what i'm saying I feel, I feel like i wouldn't be mad at having these in the collection at all but in other news Let's talk about these NF do these MF Dooms real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, I'm actually, this is crazy. I'm a, uh, these are, you see how I'm stacking everything else over here, but the MF Dooms is right here next to me because I got to make sure I, I keep those in real close sight. But yeah, boy, Air Max 90 current. What we got right here? Oh, now this shoe is very, very comfortable. I have these in the baking colorway and, uh, very comfortable shoe. Uh, what size are these? Size 13, so I'm not gonna keep these, but if anybody does wanna grab these, trust me when I tell you, you're gonna love them. All right, next up, we got a Barkley Posit Max. Wow, throwing it back. We got the sportswear box. This is something that we haven't seen for some years. With the eggplant joints? Bro, take me back. What was this, like 2012, 2013, sometime around it? What year was this? Yeah, 2012. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. This is throwback vibes right here. Are these brand new? They look like they've been worn. Nike by you, Nike ID. This looks like, oh, this is like that Joyride joint or something like that. Is that the name of it? Joyride? I think that's the name of it. Isn't this the Joyride? And it's got the little, or is this, I'm trying to remember the, I don't know, it's something like that. Either way, I've never tried these on before. What size are these? This is a 12. I, I never tried these on before, so I couldn't tell you how comfy they are. I heard they were comfortable, but I feel like this was a wave that came and went very fast, and not that many people really stuck with them, but let me see. It's got a real cushiony insole. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I'll put these on the website because, I mean, I, yeah, I can't really do nothing with them in a size 12. All right, next up right here. Now, this one I actually did see earlier simply because it's just such a tiny box and I had to take a peek at it. It's the Air Max 270 Cactus Trails. Got the little Travis Scott joints right here. 
I think these are just like dope in a kid size. Now, personally, in adults, I'm not really rocking with them, but I think it's cool for a little kid to rock these with the air. Look at that air bubble in the back looking huge. I don't know. I feel like this is something to be cool to, you know, keep for the collection and maybe have my kids wear someday or something. So I feel like it's worth keeping. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how much these things are worth like in the resale market, maybe like a hundred bucks or something like that. I don't know. Well, I'll look it up and see. Shit, retail on these was $95. That's crazy. I thought the retail was like 60 bucks. That's actually wild. All right, next up right here, we have the Kyrie 5, and it's looking like this might be it. This might be what we needed to complete the set. I got the reds and the white. The whites was right there. I got the reds last time, and the blacks is right here. This is all three from the set. So this is a uh, sneaker room Kyrie 5, and yeah, I think I'm completing the set, so it only makes sense to keep these ones. So for now, I think he gave me the whole set. We should be good to go. I got two here. And I got the red ones before, so I'm a happy camper with that. But let, let's talk about something real quick. Let's talk about something real quick. Move those out the way. Ah, the MF Doom. So if you didn't know about these right here. All right, y'all, my bad, my bad. I mean, it, that's that's girl status right there. You know what I'm saying? There's always something in there. There's, I remember last time, what was it? The, I got the off-white Prestos, and uh, he threw something else in there. I'm trying to remember all them Kobe's. He be throwing in some good bangers in there, low key. We got some Air Max One OGs right here. Clean. I can't. You can't go wrong with these right here. White and red colorway. This is a retro. What? 2012. Yeah, it's been a little minute since these dropped, but yeah, I am not mad. I, I, shit, what size is this? 13. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep these. I got, I got a few pairs of these from the different generations. I don't have this retro in particular, so I feel like. I feel like it's only right. I should keep these. Next up, we got a Nike Free OG 2014, whatever that means. Is this a free? Is this what is considered as a free? It's like a Hirachi though, with some rope laces on it. With like the full infrared vibe. I don't know. I saw these on the internet before back in the day. How long was it? Yeah, 2015. I was about to say about five or six years ago. This is an interesting shoe. I feel like these are low-key comfy, but it's a size 12, so I can't really do nothing with it. What do y'all think about these? Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, here we go. We got a box of J's. That's what I like to see. Air Jordan 6 Retro Black Varsity Red. Oh, and it's a size 12. Why? Damn. We got the Varsity Reds, Breads, whatever you want to call them. The suede on these things is so freaking nice. These are actually in really, really good condition, honestly. Why isn't this a size 13? All right, next up, we got the Nike Paya, Paya, QS, Paya. I think it's Paya. We'll call it Paya. Oh, these is kind of cool. This a little everyday joint right here. These, oh, this foam is like really soft. These are probably extremely comfortable. This is size what, 12? I can't even try these on to see if they fit. I mean, I might try these on, see. This is kind of cool. I don't know. I, I don't know about you, but for an everyday sneaker, I would not be mad at these. Let me know what you think down below. And it's low key look kind of like a water shoe. Like, I don't know if it's, it probably looked like it'd be slick, like on rocks and stuff, though, based on the bottom of the shoe. But these definitely look comfy. I don't know. If anybody's ever tried these on their feet, let me know how you feel about these down below in the comment section because. In my opinion, just based off of looks, they look like they're really comfortable. All right, right here we got an Air Jordan 5. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Bruh, why? Why, 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 why? He did this to me last time. The grown Nike, or the grown Air Jordan 1. Oh, my God. $10, $10. Who wants them? $10. These things are hideous, bro. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Oh no, we just got some dope retro sixes and then we get those in the mix. Like, who does that? That is a prime example of buying in bulk, getting the good in the bad, to say the least. We have the Air Max One QS right here, size 13. What we got, white and blue colorway, the royal blue right here. Ah, size 13. Now these look like they've been around the block a little bit, but you know what? I wouldn't mind spending these around the block a little bit more myself. I might have to keep these, you know what I'm saying? This is a good little rainy day shoe. You know, I mean, Air Max One, classic model, good colorway. I say we keep them, I don't know. I, they low key need to be clean though, bro. They got stains on the mesh and everything. I don't know, we might have to make a tutorial video or something about this, how to clean these, cause sheesh, I don't know. Maybe I might not keep these. All right, next up we got a Nike Air Trainer Premium right here. And uh, 
Definitely not my cup of tea, but I respect it. I respect it. I'm interested to see what people think about these down below in the comment section. Honestly, the color pattern isn't that bad on these either. Got a little sway with the mesh on the upper. These is cool. These is cool. Not for me, but they cool. All right, what we got right here? Air dry. No, bro. You can't do this twice. Don't. Come on. Say it ain't so. Oh. $10, $10, who wants them? The grown Nike or Air Jordan one, the grown, what? I can't even speak when it comes to the way. What? What? Come on, man. I need to, hold on, let me cheer myself up real quick. We got the, we got the freaking, let's just, remember the bright side. Remember the bright side, fellas. We still did get the MF Dooms. <laughs> Them groans is terrible. All right, here we go. We got a Nike box with no label on it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What is this? A Hirachi Free Dunk? Is that what it is? What is this? Dunk Free Dusty Sage Promo Sample. Is this size on there? Oh, that's interesting. It says 12M, so it has a size on the pull tab on the back end too. So it's a free dunk. It said Nike Dunk, a sample, huh? I've never seen these before. Let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. All right, right here we got the Nike Air Max 97 OG. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can never go wrong with these little silver bullet. Ja, you know what I'm saying? Look at that right there. Look at that right there. But this is, what size is this? This is 12. Oh, I might have to try to make these squeeze. I don't know. If these don't fit, I'll let you guys have them. But if they do, <laughs> just know I'm keeping them. All right, right here we got a Nike Air Max One DLX Deluxe. Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. See, I'm saying there's some good stuff in here. It's not as much good stuff as normal, but there's some good stuff in here. All right, right here, we got a Nike sock dart size 12. Another sock dart, not in my size. This is a cool colorway too. This is like the one at the beginning. We had the, the other one was a uh, black colorway with the Oreo speckle kind of vibe. This is a gray colorway with the Oreo speckle kind of vibe. Again, like I said, very comfortable shoe. I love this sneaker. I have a few pairs in my collection as well. And uh, you can never go wrong with these. Unfortunately, this is not my size, but I wish these were because I would I would wear these all the time too. All right, we got an Air More Money. Ooh, what is this right here? Air More Money. What are these? I've never seen these ones before. What is this? This is just all black suede with the gold tips on them. Oh, I think they, I think I have heard about these before. This is a Chinese exclusive. I don't know what exactly they were for. It's got 888 on the back, 883 on the back. I'm not exactly sure what this all means and what it's all for, but I like the Air More Up Tempos and the Air More Monies, and this is a part of that kind of category. So. I'm gonna do some research on this shoe, um, but low key, these is clean. I might have to keep these. These ain't not bad at all. I like these. Can't go wrong with an all black shoe, especially with some gold accents like that. All right, next up right here, we have a box. Inside out box. What is inside? Okay, we got a fly knit Air Force One. These things are extremely light. That is so crazy. And this is a sample too. That's nice to know. So we got a sample flying in Air Force One right here. Definitely very, very clean shoe. Next up, we got a Nike Free Orbit 2 SP. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I remember this time right here. Everybody used to be rocking these. Not me in particular, but I do remember when a lot of people were wearing these back in the day. All right, right here, we got a box. Looks like a sample box. There's no tags on it. It's got some writing on there. Yo, I what? He threw these in there? This is a Yeezy inspired Nike Dunk High. This is a sample. That's crazy, I can't believe he threw these in there. This is a sample that has 
never been seen before. It has all the elements and materials of the Yeezy 2 on it with the different colors. The tongue has the Yeezy 2 tongue. Everything's the same. I think the only thing that they didn't replicate was the reptile material on the back end simply because of uh, production issues or something like that. But yes, this does have the sample tag on these. I might have to keep these just off of, you know, the old nostalgic vibes. That's crazy. Next up, we got a Nike Air Footscape woven. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a clean colorway. It's kind of got that olive vibe with the woven footscape on the other. This is a clean. All right, we got another Nike Air woven footscape. This colorway is clean too. Ooh, we with the gray. These are clean. Anybody who knows about the footscapes, you know what's up. If you know, you know. This is one of them shoes that goes crazy. All right, right here we got a Roshi Run. Wow. <laughs> Wow, this is kind of like a tech pack type of vibe to it. This is bringing back memories, bro. I know these probably ain't worth much, but this is definitely bringing back memories right here. If anybody wants to add a very comfortable sneaker to their collection, again, another one right here. All right, right here we got a Nike ID Air Max One with a black denim upper, gum bottoms. This is cool. And it's a size 13? Shoot, I'm gonna have to slide on these. I ain't gonna lie, these is clean. All right, next up right here, we have an Air Force One Travis Scott, size three youth. All right, <laughs> Travis Force is right here. Um, What should I do with these? Should I keep them? Should I get rid of them? It's probably worth like, I don't know. I'll look it up and see how much they're worth. But they're probably going for like 150 bucks or something like that. 200 bucks. I don't know. We'll see. Next up, we got an Air Max 362. That is not an Air Max 360 at all. It's like a lunar. Uh, what's this upper? Uh, I was about to say uh, Chucka, but not Chucka. Uh, why can't I think of the freaking upper of this shoe? Oh, I know the upper. Why? And it's a sample. It's got the full sample tag in here, too. What is the name of these? Why can't I think of the name of the freaking upper? All right, right here, we got a Nike Air Trainer 1 SB. All right, with a black and purple box, kicking it old school. Ooh, ooh. We got another one right here on the hit list. Now these, I might have to, nah, I was playing. I'm gonna let go of these. <laughs> I don't like these as much as I like the other ones, but this is a solid colorway. I ain't mad at these at all. They got a little bit of creasing, you know what I'm saying? They've been around the block a little bit. I ain't mad at it. We throw these on there for a low. All right, right here we got a Dunk Comfort Premium. This is the other one, the Red October. That's crazy. So he threw both of them in. I like that. I like that. So very comfy vibe because it's, you know, a comfort dunk. But they did a Red October on these ones. I know the other one didn't, but I don't remember if these ones actually did end up releasing to the public. Same thing on here. They kind of did those same vibes with the materials and everything. And, uh, you know, this was a good era, a good time. That was also about 10 years ago. So, you know what I'm saying? That's something to think about. But I remember this era and Red October, everything was hot back then. I, know, I don't know if you guys all remember that, but Red October was like, Every brand was releasing a all red sneakers. So to see them do this on a dunk high, definitely something dope. For those people that like dunks, I think that would be a good addition for you. I don't think I would keep these ones in particular, but I do like the solar ones a little bit more. I don't know, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. All right, right here we got a Nike Air Trainer Victor Cruz. Oh, <laughs> bro, you see? See, I just said that. The Red Octobers was hitting back then. This is also when Victor Cruz was good at football. I'm not saying he's not good at football. Uh, that probably came out wrong, but this is when he was popping at the time, which was again like 10 years ago But you see what I'm saying red October. It's got very similar vibes when it comes to the design the colors the materials everything like that Again, not a bad shoe. Just not for me. I think it's I don't know I just like the actual trainer one a little bit more than these all right, here we go. We got a pink box. Nike on the top. Here we go. Nike Dunk High SB. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. Ooh. And do we have another grail? Do we have another grail? OG De La Highs. Let's go. Let's go. My dog, I appreciate you. You're a real one. Yes. This was the one that I was missing. I needed these. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> this is great. I don't know what these are hitting for right now, but I know SBs are popping, so they're probably taxing, but this is this is a grail that I always wanted in my collection. This is crazy. All right, right here we got a sample tag, Nike Air Trainer 1 Premium, sampled up. Oh, these are those draft day joints. Little money joints. Is this, it's got the, uh, let me see. I feel like these was low key in outlets, I don't remember. But it is, these are sampled up though. Promo sample, size 13. Leather on these is really nice. I don't know if I keep these though. I gotta think about these. I'm gonna think about it. We, there was a couple other trainers that was in the mix today. All right, right here we got a Nike Air Max One Ultra flying it. Ooh, can't go wrong with that. OG colorway on them. Hmm. Now I know he just gave me the other pair with the, but. I might have to keep these too, low key. I don't have these ones either. There's so many different Air Max ones with the OG white and red colorway. That's crazy. All right, you guys, last but not least, right here, we have a Nike Paya, Paya, Pop, Pop, Paya, whatever you wanna call them. Another one. This one is a different colorway though. This is more like a bone. You call it bone? It's not really sale. It's not really like tan. It's more like a grayish kind of color, but it's like a bone colorway. Interested to see how these feel. What size are these? This is a size 12. Probably not gonna fit me. I'm gonna end up trying these on and just seeing because these look like they're extremely comfortable. So that's gonna do it, you guys. We had over $7,000 in sneakers and I'm excited to be able to add some new additions to the collection and especially get a couple things back into the collection. That's gonna be a very dope thing because I mean, the MF Dooms, that's just crazy. I still can't believe that one. So if you guys are ever interested on grabbing anything that you saw from today's video that I decide not keeping, make sure you check out shopdnashow.com. I did this before, uh, I think this is our third time doing it. So make sure you guys go check out the old videos as well. And if you wanna see any in the future, I'll consider doing another one. I know this is our third time doing it, but maybe we might have to do a fourth go around and see what we got because apparently we always get something good. So I low key might be excited to do another one. If you guys want to see more, drop a comment down below. I'll see you guys in another one. All right, y'all. I'm out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.